Hi, and welcome to this month's editorial video where we're talking all about CRM. We have a great guest joining us to discuss CRMs and what it is that hotels need to consider. Mr. Chi Chan, who is the Chief Commercial Officer at IREC in you, and who has over 20 years of experience in commercial solutions, including e-commerce, CRM and revenue management. Michael Todd from Daily Point has written this month's article discussing the current challenges faced with implementing a CRM and how to best maximise that opportunity. So make sure that you check that out as well. In the article, Michael makes what I believe to be a very important point, and that is that the core task of a customer relationship management tool is to acquire profitable customers. And this is achieved by addressing them individually at all touch points. In order to be able to offer this individuality, a comprehensive guest knowledge is the top priority. And this requires a central, clean guest profile. And the central guest profile is literally the holy grail and should be the central element of any digitization and CRM strategy. We also have another stellar cast contributing to the podcast this month, so make sure that you tune into that the next time you're out walking the dog. For now, let's get into the video. As guests book their stays, tours and activities and buy products that are offered by hotels, the hotel gains valuable insight into its customer data. The data being collected by the hotel only increases daily, so hoteliers need to seek a good customer relationship management tool that enables them to manage that data. And they also need a good CRM strategy that will help them to analyze and to put all the customer data to good use. I asked Chi how hotels benefit from having a CRM and what specifically should be considered throughout the process of procurement, strategy and the importance of the data. Based on his experience, Chi will help identify and define some of the most important areas of CRMs for hotels. Um, I think it's really starting from understand the brand, uh, who, who they are, who they stand for, what's the value means to them and they need to be able to deliver those and keep their commitment. And once they really define that, then they should look for a technology solution to enable them to deliver those promises and commitment to the customer. I used to fly a lot before the pandemic and one specific airline, uh, they collect all my information, my booking pattern, the seat I like to basically get every time when I fly with them, the boarding time, I like to board the last person to the plane. And also, do I even check the luggage and, and all this? And it's very interesting. Once I fly with them multiple times, they offer me kind of like the loyalty program, additional perks and everything they offer, none of them matters to me at all because they gave me access to the business launch. Uh, you can check in the first luggage free, uh, all of that. But what matters to me the most is allow me to select a seat to sit in the front, which that tells me they have all the information, but they're not able to connect them together. Which means what's most important is really getting the foundation correctly. If you don't have the right information, it's impossible to basically execute any strategy, any plan. I think first and foremost is really understand all the data points with structure and unstructured information and what you really want to get out of those data. And then really finding a technology provider, uh, really allow them to get the information flow between the cloud and on-premise, because that's how everything works now, everything moves to the cloud, and then you still have some systems sitting at the hotel level. Um, how to make sure all those information connected real time and after you do that, then you really kind of like building this journey now. What's the next step? How do you get the most of the clean information and deliver and anticipate the customer needs? More importantly, that platform allows you to innovate for the future. It's, it's very critical for anything, not just CRM perspective, from your, even from digital marketing engagement, uh, your own website, uh, even from operation perspective, how to really remove defect and deliver the seamless experience is, is literally fundamental, is the first step. Um, it's not the sexiest thing because it's just uh, technology and making sure the data talk and in one centralized 
location and clean. But what happens is once you do that step, the next step is really exciting because you can really do a lot of innovative thing, how to engage a customer, gathering the data point, anticipate their need, right? It will create those wow moments. I can tell you that people don't remember days. They remember moments. That's how you create the emotional connection to your brand. And then if you can keep on delivering every single time, that's how you build a relationship. Instead of just saying, create a program, uh, you get perks. That never worked. People are looking for relationship, just like we're in a personal life. Really continue to stay ahead of the curve. Um, never stop learning, right? The signal is everywhere, every day. You, you can get sent some signal, but more important is how to separate the real trends from those signal and connect them so that you innovate. That's probably the key. And I always tell people, if you have time to watch, you know, television, all this program uh, streaming now, you can find an hour, an hour to really educate yourself to understand what is going on in the world, how people talk to each other, how people get connected, and, and really filter those signals. And once you find those signals, it's very easy to connect them. And when you connect them, you can really monetize the information you have and create that kind of like really deep, intimate experience with the customer. Build those relationships, build a connection, and learn. I always like to surround by smart people. That's how you learn and get better. It's necessary because you don't want to have silo information. That's that's what happened, right? You you have a revenue management system here projecting demand, the pricing, and but his, the system has no basically relationship to the customer information. It's just creating a price. Which means then you have a system here, you know, property management system collecting all the transaction with the customer, the posting, what they like, purchasing check-in, check-out, gathering preferences. And then you have uh, reputation management. Customer could give you sentiment. They like the hotel, they don't like the hotel. If you don't connect all those data points together, you really don't have a full view of the customer. I can give you a classic example. Some hotel will do is a, a customer probably post a, let's say, negative review. And somehow the marketing team who's doing the email doesn't know anything about this and will send an email to the customer to basically welcome them back the next day, recommend the next location. And that really create, create a disconnect, right? The consumer is saying, hey, I just uh, post a negative review and you haven't even addressed my concern. Now you're inviting me to go to the stay a next location or next destination. Which means that's the, that's the point. And that's what we do is to first and foremost, collect all the information together so that create a view, unified view, okay, dynamic, so that you can see everything, not just from guests, all interaction, and then figure out how to leverage the information to basically deliver the promises, the purpose of each of the company. It's very critical because every customer has certain behavior, between you can find business traveler, you know, some people are really like diehard loyal to a certain brand, right? I call those uh, loyalists. And you have some people just traveling in the summer because they're family, which means it's very important to understand those patterns so that you can basically group the customer in the different segment. And so that when you communicate to them, you can create a personalized experience, not just from communication perspective, even from the website, when they basically signing into the, to the brand website, it, it can tie all those together so that it's really tailored to those specific clients. Now, you do have some customer will overlap because they will travel for business, but when they're traveling for their vacation with their family, they also stay with the same brand, which means you just need to understand the season, the seasonal aspect and the timing so that then you can figure it out what messaging to trigger at the right time to those customers. Some really valuable takeaways there. I hope you also found them helpful. And as always, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Your ongoing support really does mean a lot to us. 
If you haven't yet, make sure to download our app, available on iTunes and Google Store, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow our page on LinkedIn. And of course, you can access all of our podcasts through Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and SoundCloud. Until next time, it's bye for now.